So I had a good time making these tutorials. It's been fun and I've had a great response. But the number one question I keep getting is how do you stretch? Uh, how do you keep your flexibility? So today we're gonna to be doing the Scott Adkins stretching tutorial. <laughs> This is how I normally do it. I'll start off with what they call uh, the Cossack stretch, which is coming down here like this. Now you can either keep both feet on the floor, or you can have this heel up. I tend to do both. Really important to keep this foot flat on the floor because it increases the mobility of your ankle. I've sprained this ankle so many times, but this one, ah! Uh, really hurts and it's you can see that my heel is coming off the ground that's because i've sprained that ankle so many times i've messed it up but anyway this uh just gets me nice and loosened up and i'm opening up the groin area stretching out those ankles really sitting back into it stretching out the back muscles as well i can turn this this side stretch more through the hamstring as well and i'm just using this to really Loosen up the legs, you know, a nice, easy stretch to get going with. A little bit of bouncing, not too much. And this is the first thing I'll do, this, this way keeping both feet flat on the floor. Make sure the, the knee's coming all the way out this way. You don't want it pointing here, I don't want to be over the knee this side. I want it nice and wide, opening up that groin like so. Then I'll straighten the knees and just drop into it like this, fold my arms, just dangle. Dangle forwards on my tiptoes. I can feel the stretch in my back. I'm just stretching out those hammies. And then I'll tend to do this one here. Don't know what that's called, but I'll sit down into this, this is good for the back. I had a few problems with my back, so always get those back muscles stretched out as much as I can. Push that out, widen the groin. Sit down into a deep. Come up a little bit and then sit down into a deep. Keep both feet flat on the floor. And just, I uh, guess, the mobility into those hips. Really important to get mobility into the hips because if you want to kick high, obviously you don't want those stiff hips. Then from here, I don't know what this stretch is called, but this is what I do. This is going back to the old Taekwondo days. Now, really important with this, if you're not as flexible as I am at the moment, um, then you can have your knee out to the front maybe, but what's really important is that the foot is not in that sort of position because that's putting a lot of pressure onto my knee joint, if the foot's like that. I want to put the foot, foot tucked all the way in. You can sit on it, that, that's a, a less dangerous position for the knee to sit on your foot, but preferably you want to be here because it's going to open up my hips more, nice and wide. But that foot needs to be in the correct position because I don't want your knee joint to be in that, that funny position there. But from here, I'll stretch down to the front leg and it's important not to try and force your head down to your knee because you think you're getting a better stretch that way. Actually you're not. Keep your head up and stretch forwards, try and get your chest down on your knee. This, this is a better stretch than this. This is better. See because it really it depends on how the hamstring feels. You can feel when you've got a good stretch. So just stretch that hamstring, feel it, and uh, you know, again, it's just a relaxed stretch, nothing too crazy. If I feel pain, then don't go any further. You can see that this leg, my right leg, is less flexible than my left. It's always been that way since I was a kid, I don't know why, but that's why I tend to do more kicks with my left leg than my right, just because it was more flexible. So I tended to favour over that leg and kick them all with that one. So again, here to the front, you can stretch to the middle, you can stretch to the knee, 
opening up this groin area. This side, stretch to the front, stretch to the middle, stretch to the knee. Yeah, full range of motion. And now one of the ones I like to do is, I think it's called the butterfly stretch. So bring in my feet, my ankles, all the way into my groin. I can push down on my knees like so. And just again, opening up the groin, stretching down like that. Then you can put your feet forwards, so your knees are at a 45 degree angle. Hold on to the toes, and again, stretch down. Don't bring the head down like this. Keep your chest up. I'm pulling on my toes just to give myself a stretch. I can really feel that in my back. Okay, come in here again for another one of these stretches. And I'm just relaxing here. I'm just, you know, just chilling out to be honest. It shouldn't be too painful. I'm just freeing up the body. What I tend to do is I tend to do these stretches in front of the TV a lot of the time. So now I've got a pretty good stretch on. And uh, obviously I'm, I'm not that flexible, but I'm okay. So if, if you're struggling to get down to here, it's fine just to be in this position. I'll go as deep as I can, and then I will sit back with my toes pointing up, yeah? You shouldn't be, if you're in this position, I think it's better to lean forwards because if you're upright, I do think that's pressure on your lower back and on the hips. So if you're in the middle of splits in this position, I think it's okay to lean forwards. And then if you're gonna sit down, which I want you to, have your toes pointing up. And I'm just gonna stretch forward like so. Stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. Stretch to the front. A little bit of a rock back and forward. And I'm, I'm gonna keep getting deeper into the stretch now. And you know, there's no secret to it. This is the way I stretch. I'm not the most flexible, but I'm pretty good. If I did it more often, I'd be more flexible. Um, something that I tend to do a lot is in the evening, instead of lying on the couch watching TV, I tend to get on a nice carpeted floor and I'll sit in a position like this and I'll, and I'll watch TV and I'll just stretch out while I'm doing that. And, you know, that's it. It's just about stretching the muscles on a regular basis. Again, stretching all over the place. Now I can come up, see how I'm doing with the middle splits. I feel like I'm getting a little bit lower. Ooh, a little bit lower. I'm getting closer to the Van Damme splits. So there's a lot of people much more flexible than me. But uh, as I say, if I did this more often, and I do, depending on the role, uh, the more often you do it, the, the better you'll get. Okay, and that's it for me today. This is pretty much my maximum stretch at the moment because I've been a bit naughty, not been stretching as much as I should, but uh, it's not that bad. It could be better, but it's okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh, good grief, good grief. This is the future. Yeah.